Geometric modulation, a more effective method of stable LVLF wave generation with continuous HF heating of the lower ionosphere. 1. LVLF radio waves, 300 Hz, 30 kHz are difficult to generate with practical antennae because of their extraordinarily long 10, 1000 km wavelengths and the lost psi nature of the Earth's surface at these frequencies. LVLF waves have been successfully generated via amplitude modulated AM HF 2 10 MHz heating of the lower ionosphere. Through the temperature dependent conductivity of the lower ionospheric plasma, a patch of T Kionos pH or IC current becomes a large radiate ing antenna. We implement a new method of LVLF wave generation, he renamed geometric modulation, involving scanning the HF heating beam in a geometric pattern without modulating its power. Utilizing results from the upgraded 3.6 MW radiated HAARPHF antenna array, we show that geometric modulation can enhance LVLF wave generation by up to 11 dB over the conventional AM method. Geometric modulation also allows directional launching of the signal into the Earth ionosphere waveguide, forming an unprecedented cerebral large element LVLF ionospheric phased array. Citation, Cohen, M.B., U.S. Einan, and M. A. Golowski, 2008, Geometric Modulation, a more effective method of stable LVLF wave generation with continuous HF heating of the lower ionosphere, Geo Fies, Rees, LETT, 35, L12101, doi 10.1029-2008GL034061. 1. Introduction, 2. The generation of radio waves of extremely low frequency and very low frequency, LVLF. Point 3. 30 kHz has long been a challenge for scientists and engineers. With wavelengths of 10, 1000 km, acceptably efficient radiating antennae require similar length scales. This problem is exacerbated by the good conductivity of the Earth's surface at these frequencies, 10-4 sm, so that a horizontal radiating antenna along the ground suffers the hindrance of an image current just below the ground plane. 3. LVLF frequencies have important scientific and practical uses, due to the efficient propagation of LVLF signals in the Earth Ionosphere Waveguide BIW. LVLF waves impact the physical processes at play in the ionosphere and magnetosphere C bar and L. 2000 for a review and can be an effective diagnostic tool. HF heating of the lower ionosphere in the presence of natural currents constitutes one of the few effective means of LVLF wave generation and thus has remained the subject of active research since the first demonstration by Getmansev et al. 1974. Four, the ionospheric observatories near Arecibo, Puerto Rico, Ferraro et al., 1982, and Chicamarca, Peru, London et al., 1984, generated weak, one feet ALF signals utilizing the equatorial dynamo current. High latitude facilities utilizing the auroral electrojet have generated stronger, one point ALF VLF signals. The HIPAS facility near Fairbanks, Alaska, utilizes a 150 kW transmitter array operating at 2.85 MHz, e.g., Villa Sen or at AL, 1996. The 1NW radiated EISC-80 facility near Tromso, Norway, has performed LVLF experiments, e.g., Stub at AL, 1982, including an HF beam steering ability utilized by Riefel et al. 1984 to observe electrojet spatial structure. 5. More recently, the highest frequency active auroral research program, HAARP, phased array HF facility near Kakuna, Alaska, 62220N, 14590W, has generated ELF signals observed as far as 4400 km, more at AL, 2007, as well as in the geomagnetic conjugate region, IMM at AL, 2004, M. Golkowski at AL, magnetospheric amplification and emission triggering by LVLF waves injected by the 3.6 MW HAARP ionospheric heater, submitted to Journal of Geophysical Research, 2008. In 2009,
2007, an upgrade of HAARU is completed, increasing its HF radiated power from 960 kW to 3.6 MW, calling at AL 2008. The generation of LPLF waves via HF heating is strongly affected by the region electron density and the oral electro HF strength. However, HF heating parameters choice, frequency, beam direction, power, etc. is quite important. 6. Papadopoulos et al. 1990 suggests a so-called beam painting technique, i. moving high power HF beam over a large area during a heating period at a rate faster than the electrons cool followed by HF off period to complete the AMCYC LE. Though here we report a technique in which the beam moves at rates a few kilohertz substantially slower than the tens of ms cooling rates bar at AL 1999 with the continuously on beam. Papadopoulos et al. 1994 and Borisov et al. 1996 also theorized LPLF injection into the EIW and magnetosphere via Serenkov radiation from a source moving along a line at speeds near or above the phase velocity of propagating waves. 7. Efforts to generate an LPLF directional array have been very limited. Bar et al. 1987 alternate the HF beam between two regions using the Tromso facility, with half the LPLF cycle at each. The observations resemble those of an array with two anti-phase elements. Werner and Ferraro, 1987, theoretically investigated ionospheric LPLF arrays. 8. In this paper, we implement a new technique, hereafter referred to as geometric modulation, and abbreviated GM, in which the beam scans in a geometric pattern at LPLF rates, with no power modulation. The period of traversing the geometric pattern dictates the fundamental LPLF modulation frequency, so that on off modulation is achieved one star laboratory, Department of Electrical Engineering, Stanford University, Stanford, California, USA. Copyright 2008 by the American Geophysical Union. 948276-8200-8GL03406115-L12101. Through beam motion, not power modulation, we demonstrate experimentally that GM enhances LVLF amplitudes from modulated HF heating by as much as 7.